that. I'll come in peace. But she comes in pieces. Shattered in a world where every man carries a hammer. So emotionally she scattered everywhere. Trusting only what she knows, her mind is now closed because it's been pried open by so many lies. Three kids with three different fathers in the case she just had so many tries, only to be labeled and wrongfully judged. When all she wanted was to be wrongfully hugged in the harmless world. Remember when she used to be a harmless girl, now a scorned woman whose relationship trauma now has men describe her as being born for drama. Like all she ever dreamed of was becoming some nigga's estranged baby mama, and it only gets worse every time she attempts to find love. And there's a strong possibility that the only love she'll get is through the eyes of her kids. But she's too busy subconsciously so blaming them for what their fathers did, so I tell her, God knows it's hard to find a good mate, and trust me, I've been hurt too. But how do you expect a man to love you when you can't properly love what you've given birth to? So I tell her, don't give up on love. Just because you define it in a hook, nine inch dick that bears gifts, or the slick shit a nigga had the ability to spit, and you became blind by the promise. Believing that the pain means that pain is progress, not realizing that pain is a place between action and reality. And somewhere snuggled beneath the lie you told yourself, you found comfort in not opening your eyes, shaking the empty box, listening for the fries when all you really had was the nigga that you made up. When the cure for loneliness came in the form of a good fuck, you basked in the possibilities of a good nut instead of him having a good heart. And I know a good man is really hard. Finding a good man is really hard, but you will never find one in your mind. He's found in less fucking and more quality time, so maybe before you take him to bed, open up your mind before you spread open your legs, and the next time you try this to detect some lies, listen to everything he say to do more hearing with your eyes, and maybe then you can really hear the words, I love you.